This is Painting with Mike. I'm your host, Mike. I hope you're doing awesome wherever you are. I thought today we would do something special. I'm going to show you how to make pine trees, two different types, two different types of brushes, two different types of scenes. And if you're ready, let's go ahead and rock and roll. Let me just explain what I have here real quick. Titanium white. I have phthalo blue, some Van Dyke brown, Prussian blue, some lamp black, some crimson, and some lemon light. And these right here would be Windsor and Newton. And this right here is 1980 Gambling. And with your two inch brush, let's go ahead and just make a quick little scene here. I'm gonna go right into the phthalo. And I'm just, just a practice scene today. So nothing special. I'm just gonna put this all over all over the place, okay? Just so we have some kind of background. Some kind of background. And I did apply a, a thin amount, a very thin amount, you can tell, of uh, liquid white, okay? Or white medium. And I am using Bob Ross, okay? Uh, Bob Ross medium, that's Usually my go-to, but I do have some other stuff I also paint with. I like to use, uh, there's like a first coat by Gam Gambrocker. I can't really pronounce it too good, but it's okay. It's a little too thick. So I'll just add a little bit of some linseed oil. Just a little bit of linseed oil to it to thin it out. And I've actually been painting with that for quite a while. Finally just got some new Bob Ross in it, so. But nothing special, as I said, in this background. Just something there, okay? All right, let me go ahead and put this down. I'm gonna grab my palette knife. I'm gonna go ahead and mix these three colors. So Prussian blue, lamp black, and chrism, all in equal proportion. And just mix it real good. Pick it up, scoop it. I just need a nice dark color. And I'll be using this for, for both trees, okay? I'm clean this knife. I'll just start out with the traditional fan brush. And then I'm gonna also use a a filbert brush. Okay, so I'll show you two different ways. And I'm gonna load up both sides. Okay. And I'm just gonna do the fan brush on this side. So I'll put the guy there. I'll, while I have this, I'll just go ahead and use it. And we'll do it for, for that guy. Okay. So the fan brush, you wanna load up on both sides. Okay. And you're going to come in and you're going to, the way I do is I like to touch, touch, and then start working your arms out like so. Okay. And I'm, I'm pushing in like that. Okay. And then you can flip and use both sides. Usually one side of your fan brush is a little bit better than the other. And you just work your way down. Okay. Now, if you're struggling, you can literally just come in and just go down like this, okay? Load up and then just start working, working your arms out, just like that, okay? So there's two different ways in one tree that you can, you can do your pine trees, okay? But remember, just like that, just like that. Do something like that, okay? Let's go ahead and use the palette. I'm gonna grab my Van Dyke Brown and a touch of the white. Maybe a little bit more so it sticks out. There we go. And then take yourself a nice small roll. Let me do that again so you can 
just in case you're struggling. You just take your paddle knife, you just go like this, and straight down, and you get, get a nice roll, okay? And then we'll come in, obviously you have your spot right here, it's nice and open, and uh, maybe right here, and then maybe we'll just go something like that. There you go, okay? I'm gonna use the same fan brush, I just wanna clean it. So I'm going into paint thinner. Anytime I have to clean my brush during my oil painting, I go to my paint thinner. That's just me personally, you don't have to yourself. So I'm gonna go and dip into a little bit of some of the white medium and go into my yellow here, okay? And I like to get both sides, okay? And then just push up a little bit. And we'll just highlight maybe more towards the middle and, and maybe to the right side, or if you're left-handed, maybe to the left side. And same thing, you just come in and you touch, and you touch, and then you start working. And you can go in like this, tap, 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 okay? Blow it up, and then you can do the same thing. Just tap it like that. You can also, if you want, you can tap downwards like that. You can come in this way, okay? Or you can come in like that. Okay, oops, got a little smudge. So we'll go ahead and try to fix that. There we go, okay? Load up, and then same thing. You can come in like this. All I'm doing is just, just touch it. Look, touch, 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 see? And you can come back this way and get that set. Come over here, maybe something like that, okay? And then that's it. And then you can come over and hit. We'll just do something like so. Okay. And there's a pine tree there using a fan brush. I'm going to go ahead and use, use a filbert. Trying to see what number. These things are really old. This is actually a number nine filbert. I'm pretty shocked that I, that I saw that. Okay. And we're going to load it up again. If you push and you go like this on both sides, it chisels it. And then you're going to come up with your filbert brush. And it's the same thing as this. Nothing special. You come in and you touch, touch. And then with this one, I'd like to do stuff like this. And all I'm doing is, all I'm doing is touching, touching, and it gives you a completely different effect with the filbert brush, but you're doing it pretty much the same way. A little bit different with this one because you just can tap and that's it. Okay. And once again, you can come in, you can just fill this all dark. It don't matter. And then you can come in and just put your arms. And all I'm doing, look, all I'm doing is touch, touch, touch. Okay? And you can work, work at different angles. See? But load up, chisel it, and then come in and do your thing. And I'm just touching, 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 touch, 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 touch. That's it. That's it. And I'll come in and I'll fill in the gaps, but this just gives you an idea. And all I'm doing is just, just doing that. And now I'm going in and I'm kind of pushing in like that, just filling it in, filling some spots.
remember it's a it's a tree it grows however it wants so wherever you'd like to put the branches it's absolutely perfect and just work with it okay Do something like that. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this. Give me just a second here. They have a lot of, a lot of paint in that. Yeah, still a little dirty. I apologize. A lot, a lot of paint. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and use that, use that palette. Once again, get a little bit of paint, and I'll just come in and something like so. I'm gonna go ahead and dip into some of my white medium here. And I'm gonna go into my white. This one, I just kind of tap it a little bit, kind of open it up a little bit, and then the same thing, just touch, touch. See? And just come in and touch, just touch it. Let's get some of that color off of there and then same thing that's it touch see that a little bit more of that medium same thing touch that's it touch Just like that. And just to give it something here, we'll just kind of anything special. I'm just trying to put something here. There we go. Come in. There we go. Just to make it a little bit, a little bit interesting here, I guess. Come in with the liner brush. Get a little bit of that medium and just put some little things right here. You can also, real quick, a little bit of your paint thinner or a thinning oil go into your dark and you can just make yourself some little branches. And maybe the same thing over here. And there you go. Okay, just a couple little things to. Here's some walking. I'm with my doggy. She's 16 years old. She's always, always by my side. So I love her. her. Name's Lady. So, but this is just two different, two different brushes. 
like I said, a, two different scenes. You have a, a summer and a winter. And um, I really hope you enjoy it. It's just two different ways to make pine trees, okay? With a fan brush and with a filbert brush. So thank you so much for painting with Mike. I hope this tip helps you. And until next time, please take care of yourself. Bye-bye.